The bonds to our apostles and elders, great millstone that taught us the truth. Peace and mercy be unto our uh, to the Lord's elect out there. All right. Um. Uh, now, real quick, man, I'm just continuing on uh, what's been going on um, among the elders and older brothers. All right. Uh, they pretty much took a line from Apostle Tar in a recent video he made, and um, Apostle Tar made a statement. He said, "This is why we call you the devil." All right. And uh, brothers just pretty much land back and off that statement. And uh, they just putting their two cents in, so I figured, you know, I might, as, you know, might as well get in where I fit in, and um, you know, put mine up there, and Lord willing, to be edifying. But um, as you can see, what's on the screen, uh, this is uh, the Bill of Rights, or not, um, or uh, actually the U.S. Constitution. All right, and um, pretty much uh, uh, Esau, all right, he took it upon it, he took it upon himself, all right, to um, you know, uh, change up what God already. Uh, etched in stone or, or put into uh, the world which is uh, a way of living all right laws st uh, no statutes and commandments all right Esau what he did with this piece of paper all right was pretty much make his own way of living his own laws and all that man all right and he had those uh those wicked ass Edomites all right other presidents and stuff like that sign in on this as well but um I just want to grab these precepts real quick I wrote them down because uh as of lately, man, my memory just been shot. But um, you know who the, like, and there's another thing, man. Esau, who the hell are you, man, to, to change any damn thing, man? All right, because uh, in the U.S. Constitution, all right, he has uh, something called the Bill of Rights, and um, or amendments and stuff like that. And the word amendment means to change or to alter, all right, um, modif modify, you know. So uh, you you didn't need to modify anything, man. The Lord already had it perfect, man. All right. Let me get this, man. Uh, Proverbs nineteen verse seven. It says, "Uh, it says the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple." Yeah, man. This 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 says uh, the law of the Lord is perfect, man. All right. In other words, it didn't need you know. The inspiration of men, or or they didn't need men's input. Most of I came with all this on his own, and he had y'all shy. All right, uh, pretty much um, carry out his will, man. All right, to uh, make sure that what you know the most I said was going to be put into action, put into play. That's why he always came here, even before he was Yahweh Sha. He came here in previous other reincarnations and made sure. Um, Pretty much that he always kept a watch over the earth, so to speak, and made sure things went according. But, um, you know, uh, bringing that back, Psalms 9, verse 7 said, the law, of the, mo the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. Yeah, man, like I said, so the law of the Lord is perfect, man. We didn't need, you know, you Edomites, all right, trying to change things up and make things, you know, sound better or make things, um, you know, in your way of your or your or your way of living, or your sick, twisted mind. All right, and this is why we call you the devil. All right, going back to the title. All right, this is this is just one of the many reasons why we call you the devil, is because you, like I said in the beginning of the statement, I mean, the beginning of the video, I made a statement saying, you know, you just you just you just well, I can't remember the statement. I, well, you just pretty much think you're the most high. All right, this like I said, this is why we call you the devil, man. All right, because only a only a devil would do the things that you're doing, man. Because other brothers made videos uh, saying this is the reason why you, this is this is why we call you the devil. All right, uh, you may created Monsanto. You have brothers eat fake food. All right, that doesn't nourish the body. All right, in, in actuality, GMOs they actually uh, break down the human body. All right, on the cellular level. All right, it pretty much stars your cells out. All right, and. Uh, and it alters them, all right. And um, this, this, like I said, and this is just once again one of the many way, many reasons we call you devil. And I'm gonna do a part two, man, because this is a, this is actually a good, um, <laughs> a good a series. So I'm gonna do a part two to this, Lord willing, tomorrow, you know. And I'll probably do a part three. I don't want to watch that, like I said, I want to continue this. But um, you know, um, if you even look at the medical industry, man, all right, you know. 
You know, you just you just fucking with too much shit, man. Yeah. So I'm um I'm gonna uh, jump over. Psalms uh, eighteen verse thirty. It says, "As as for Yahweh, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all the to to, to all those that trust in Him." All right, yeah, man. It says for the way of the for the for the, uh, for, uh, for as for Yahweh, His way is perfect, man. All right, so like I said, that just backed up what I just said in Psalms nineteen seven or nineteen five. About that, um, about the law, it was nineteen and five. About the law, the most high being perfect, man, and it do, and it does not need man input. It does not need Esau or anybody at that matter, man. All right, the law is perfect, man. So what, what the hell you get off making this bill of rights, bill of rights, or this constant U.S. Constitution? All right, coming up with your own laws and how you think mankind should be, uh, you know, uh, ran. All right, how, how society should be ran, how you know family should be ran. All right, you, you you just you 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 just gotta go, man. All right, and uh, I'm gonna grab this uh, this one real quick. Psalm 24, verse five. All right, and it reads. Let me see. Uh, it says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, man. And that's exactly what Esau did, man. He, you know, changed, you know, he said the earth is defiled under the inhabitants of the world. And the reason why we're defiled because of the man that is ruling, like the scriptures say, as, as, the, um, as the king, so is the servants, or as the king, so is the people. So, you know, if the king weird, if the king wicked and all that, because he's the ones that sets up the laws and, 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 the, and what's going to be said and done, in a society or a kingdom, how much how much more the people? Because they gotta follow his way, all right. Because he's leading, all right. So in this case, Esau is leading. He's the king, all right. Him and his race, all right. Um, in particular, the elites right now, but they're leading. All right, they have to say so. So uh, we're we're pretty much left out there to dry. We don't have no choice but to fucking kind of listen to this devil, man. All right. And another thing too, he forces a lot of things, to, uh, you know, down down upon us, man, and the people. But back in Isaiah 24, verse 5, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, man. They changed the laws of the Most High. All right, they broken the everlasting covenant, man. All right, you, you Edomites, man, you are the worst thing out there, man, and the Most High is going to destroy your ass soon, man. All right, number seven, it said the new, uh, jump it down. So, yeah. Mm. There's one more that I want to get in here. If I can't find it, it's all good. Like I said, I'm gonna do a part. I'm gonna do another part to this, man, because like I said, this is a very good topic. But this is, a, this is like I said, this is one of the many, very, very many reasons why we call you the devil, man. All right. You know, at that I'm gonna say all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rokhadash. Devon is to our past, as we missed on peace and respect. So let's like Shalom.